Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Cyrus and Phoebe, and today we will talk about the new Ghost Panther. I mean, he looks amazing, he feels amazing, and he's one of a character you should have in the game. I know he is a paywall character, but still, the stuff that you're getting with this guy, apart from the passive as well, he is a good character. I'm really eager to test him on Shadowland and other game modes. Right now, I did the testing in AVX and it was just amazing. You'll see how far I was able to get with this setup and you'll be amazed to see that. So as you can see, this Ghost Panther is the rank 35th in the Marvel Universe. I mean, not the Marvel, the MFF Universe. And for the stats, I have maxed out attack speed, critical damage, critical rate is about to be maxed out. Then I have maxed out ignore defense and reduce cooldown. He is having an energy attack value of 10,000 and physical attack value of 13,000. And if you see, Ghost Panther is a character who is a physical character. All his attacks are physical damage, some percentage of physical attack, even the flame attacks. The fire attacks are some percentage of physical attack and if you look at the value you'll see the fire damage 117. All the attacks are having a good percentage that they take from the physical attack value of Ghost Panther which is really good. Apart from that he is also having 90% chance to immune to fire damage. I think which will help him in game modes like Timeline Battle or AC where you are against a character who deals only fire damage like Hellstorm, Satana or Jean Grey. So in that case he might be really useful because he has a chance of 90% to be immune to fire damage than the other skills. So we'll talk about each skill and what you're getting the perfect rotation and the other stuff with this guy and I must say I feel this character is better than Black Panther in the game right now. I mean I don't have Black Panther at tier 3 but at tier 2 this character is at 60, Black Panther right now is at 70 but I still feel this character is better than Black Panther in terms of damage output. And the other stuff that you get with this guy. The ISO it set is overdrive which is at stage 6 so I am having 20% of all attack increase. Then the obelisk right now is a critical damage, fire damage and a shield obelisk because I already have a tier 3 Thor so I don't think I would be putting an offensive ISO oh, offensive obelisk like damage proc on this guy because he is good for AC and other game modes but if you want to play him on ABX you want to have a better score with this guy you should get an obelisk with fire damage you don't need guard break immunity on this guy so fire damage plus any other stat that you want to max out or you can go with fire damage plus maximum HP plus a damage proc I don't think 200 or 180 proc should be placed on this guy because there are other tunes that can easily overpower him like tier 3 Thor but yes if you want him you can definitely put that obelisk on him that is not my recommendation but that's your choice you can i mean you should do it then for the skills his tier 2 passive is really good because it gives him an increased fire damage by 50 percent along with that you are getting increased damage to super villain types by 45 percent and decreased damage received from super villain types by 15 percent it is something similar to phil colson's passive the only difference is you are not getting guaranteed critical rate instead of that you are getting increased fire damage by 50 percent to all allies so if this guy ever gets a uniform in which he turns into a female character then we can definitely use him for the ABX Universal Female Day because right now I use Satana over there. She's really amazing but if Satana gets, gets his passive she would deal an insane amount of damage or who knows whether this guy when turned into a female can give a better score than Satana. We'll see in the future what happens with this guy. Now talking about the different skills the skills are really good you're getting a lot of stuff and the animations are pretty cool the after effects of the skills are really amazing as well we'll see what rotation i follow and what are the other stuff so if you talk about skill number one skill number one is not is a partial iframe it is an iframe at the end but it's a short iframe so whenever you cast this skill you should be aware that you might take hit because for the entire beginning of the skill there is no iframe and there is no CC you're getting bleed damage as well but that won't prevent the enemy from attacking you 
Then skill number 2 is a complete iframe. The after effect is the fire damage on the enemy characters and it's a cool skill. I mean look at the animation. The twisting and the punching on the ground is really amazing and the fire damage is good. Skill number 3 is a great skill because it gives you accumulation, it gives you 5 seconds of immunity and it's a short skill so you, you can instantly cancel this skill into any other skill if you want the buff only and you don't want the animation of the entire skill. The damage from this skill is not that good so I would say that you should instantly cancel this skill to any other skill that you want like I cancel 3 into 2. I got the buff, I got the immunity, there is no delay in the buffs that you're getting from skill number 3. Then skill number 4 is my favorite skill on this guy because it's a cool animation and the after effect is a big circle of fire just going up and it's really cool, I mean look at it. Here you go. And it deals an insane amount of damage, I tested that in AVX and the damage I was able to pull from this skill was just amazing. And skill number 5 is something similar to Black Panther's 5th skill and I mean it looks cool because we have added, added fire damage in it and we have the fl uh, fire from the claws which looks good. So those were the skills. You're getting stun as well and the bleed damage as well. The stun won't apply to all bosses and the frost beast but yes the bleed damage might help you pull a little bit of more score with this guy so the rotation I follow is I start with skill instantly cancel it to skill number four and then go with skill number five it's a really cool rotation because even without a damage proc I was able to pull a score of 535,000 which is really amazing for a character who is just tier 2 who is not having a damage proc and he is not even having an awakened ISO 8 set so that was really cool so when you're done with 3 cancel, 4, 5, if these skills are on cooldown you can insert 2 in between or you can even insert 1 if you want to but make sure that you don't take it because frost beast will blind you for a few seconds and during that time your attack might be completely missed by the frost beast so that makes a difference in the score. Again the skill rotation 3 cancel we go with 4 and when we see the flame tower the circle of flame travel we go with skill number five then if those are not active then we'll go with two and we'll have the same rotation again so this was the rotation now you guys will be watching the video in which i did the abx run with this guy and you'll see how much i was able to pull so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel and do let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this ghost panther are you happy with it or you're not have a nice day guys